Dear colleagues, my name is Christian Reich. I'm a professor for dermatology working in Hamburg and Berlin, Germany. And today I want to briefly discuss with you a paper we recently published in the British Journal of Dermatology about tildrakizumab, an IL-23 P19 inhibitor. And the paper focuses on the long-term efficacy and safety of this drug. Which patients were included in the three-year analysis? Number one, patients from week 28 on only if there were A, partially responders, so between PASI 50 and 75, or responders, PASI 75, and B, if they stayed on the same dose, so either tildrakizumab 100 or 200 milligram, they received in the first 28 weeks of the study. Patients were also included in the efficacy analysis if they were non-responders or partially responders to etanercept again and again from week 28 on. You can see the numbers of the patients included in the efficacy analysis on the slide and of course in the paper we used non-responder imputation for handling missing data beyond week 28. For the safety analysis our 100% was the ITT population. Now what was the main efficacy finding? A very strong therapeutic longevity. If we focus on those patients that had a PASI 75 at week 28, 80% of them had their PASI 75 response after three years of therapy and 60% had a PASI 90. When we go to absolute PASI values, which is interesting because we may use them more for our future treatment goal definitions, absolute PASI below three, after three years 70%, and below 1, 50% again among those that had a PASI 75 at week 28. The safety findings did not really show any new events. The 23 inhibitors are considered a very safe therapeutic class. So if you look at event rates per 100 patient years of exposure here, of patients that discontinued due to an AE, of patients with safety events of special interest like severe infections, malignancies, major adverse cardiovascular events, all very low rates. So in combination you see a very strong long-term maintenance of the response, in this case over three years of therapy, combined with a very favorable safety profile. And I think this shows again that the class of the 23 P19 inhibitors, including tildrakizumab, what I have discussed now, are a very good therapeutic option for the long-term management of our patients with psoriasis. If you want to find out more, please read the paper. I thank you very much for your attention.